Now, the 2023 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, has warned against any attempt to rig next week's governorship election in Edo State. Atiku warned that Edo is not Lagos, where, according to him, election can be rigged by the All Progressives Congress APC. He spoke in a Kaoma area of Edo State during the grand finale of the PDP's governorship campaign rally. The former vice president also urged the people of the state to protect their votes to avoid rigging. When I came, they said civil servants were corrupt, that civil servants were no good. They did not give them money. They did not pay their salaries on time. Today, don't we have the best civil service in Nigeria? There is no division in the governor's forum. And we are not pompous or proud we are not arrogant we are not joining issues with ignorant people we are going to use the hindsight of knowledge and strategy and tact to be able to conquer they threaten us they said they will not allow us to win in a do state what did we show them we showed them say they do not deliver Again. Good luck and all the best. We work out to remove suffering. We work out to remove insecurity. We work out to remove no school. We work out to remove bad health. We work every day for the people of this state. Every hour of each day for the people of this state. And we shall make ourselves accessible, transparent, and we shall work and govern with integrity. Next week, Saturday, the people of Edo State will file out to vote for the next governor of the state. Aswe Igodalo of the PDP, a Monday equivalent of the Old Progressives Congress, and Olumide Apata of the Labour Party are the front runners in the governorship election. Meanwhile, the Vice President, Kasim Shatima, Senate President Gatsula Pabio, and nine Old Progressives Congress governors including seven ministers and members of the House of Representatives, have attended the mega rally of the party to wrap up its campaign for the September 21 governorship election. Shatima said that those state needs a strategic thinker, builder, and a man with a compassionate heart that can lead his people right, are then that intelligence is not determined by the size of the head, but ability to solve problems that affect the people. Addressing the crowd, former governor of the state, Senator Adams Oshomale, said Governor Godwin Obasaki has been insensitive to the plight of the people of the state. Our message is a message of hope. We will not be detained by the very recent bad part. We are inspired by the epic. Once we have a vehicle properly in a position, a driver in the person of Akbako Rescue, Rescue our education, Rescue our infrastructure. We have heard the news that Edo is taking a different direction. We heard that you have decided that it is time for you to rejoin the center. My presence here as chairman of the National Assembly is to come and let you know that I have implicit confidence in your incoming governor, Monday Okoyono. We are voting for quality education for our dear children. We are voting for good health care. We are voting for infrastructural development. Senator Monday Okoyono and his Deputy Honorable Dennis Edahosa, we have two gentlemen who will walk the talk. They will complement each other. The humility that has brought them thus far will also manifest in their governing of Edo State. With these two grassroots politicians and distinguished public servants, Edo will witness a positive redefining and reshaping. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.